Hey guys, John here. Today we're in Pigments, and this video is going to be a little bit different than the rest of them. So my Retro Waves preset pack has been by far the most popular, and it just goes to show maybe those kind of sounds are really interesting. They sound cool, and they're a lot of fun to make. So I kind of wanted to bring you into the thought process of making kind of retro synth wavy kind of stuff here. So let's go to a new preset here, and let's go to the analog engine because obviously, right? So we have a saw wave. So it's nice to combine this with a square wave in octave down, something kind of like that, having the square hold the low end and bring it obviously into the mix. Okay, so let's give a little bit of a release here. And what's nice to do, because a lot of those old synthesizers, they had a lot of pulse width modulation going on for a lot of those patches here. So let's go ahead and recreate that, right? So let's go LFO1, bring this on to the width here, maybe bring this down just a bit so it's kind of moving slightly here and let's bring the speed down and then have this re-trigger not from the poly keyboard but let's have this re free running so it's always kind of just moving and changes from bipolar to unipolar because we're really just going from zero upwards right we're just going in a positive area let's stay positive guys Okay, so now what we can do as well is, let's go to our filter, right? The multi-mode is great. However, we kind of want to emulate different types of filter sounds from that time. So we can really use the MS-20, the SAM, Matrix 12, Jupiter 8, stuff like that. The Mini is great as well. I kind of like doing the Matrix 12 for a lot of the stuff or the Juno, Juno 8 if it's a little bit more, I guess, softer sounding, right? Really depends on what you're going for. So with this, it's always going to be modulated with some type of envelope. So let's use envelope two and bring this to the cutoff and reduce this range just a little bit. We don't need that much. And this is where the resonance is gonna come in handy. So before we do that, let's do our macros real quick here. So let's bring this kind of low right here and full value here. So we have something like a big range if we'd like to use that. And let's label this as cut. And then same thing for macro two. Let's put this on the resonance here and bring this pretty substantially high up here and label this as res. So something to be aware of here, so this can kind of make your patches sound weird if you don't do this, but going into, into our envelopes, if we have a long amp release, something kind of like this, right? Our release for our cutoff here for this envelope is a little bit too fast, so always kind of remember to bring this up a little bit. So we have that filter sweep just a little bit longer so we can kind of really feel what's going on here and maybe even bring in some more resonance. Okay, so now if we want to have some units in, this is a good time to do it. So let's see how that sounds. Okay, so very cool here. And something that we also need to keep in mind, those types of sounds were noisy because a lot of the synths were noisy. So we can use over here in the utility engine and turn this one on here for white noise. And instead of sending this to a filter, what we can actually do is send it to the second one. But what we can do is have these split a little bit, something kind of like that. Or we can kind of go like that and make the filters parallel, depending on how we want to do that. So for this case, we can just drag this up to the right. So now filter one and filter two are independent. With that being said, let's send some of this analog noise here to filter two. And sometimes it's kind of nice to have both of these on, so we have kind of a variation of noises and send it to the second filter as well. And turn both of these down here and for the third macro, let's select this and drag it to these noise here and maybe do something like maybe 0.7, it's really kind of up to you, I suppose. And now we have both of these noises here on one macro. And we can kind of mix that into taste. So let's put noise here. And something, it's kind of up to you as well, but you can put a sub oscillator here and send this to direct out if you'd like to. makes the patch kind of big so I'll kind of leave that down here and if you want to add that you totally can I would usually put that on number three as most of you know but we're doing the noise here so we kind of have to sacrifice little things here 
So a lot of the fun also goes into the effects, right? So let's leave the first one blank here for some corrective EQ in the beginning. So right now let's go and kind of think about effects, right? So what did we really have or what did they really have back in this time? We have delay, we have reverb, and one of the most important, we have chorus, right? So before we even get to the reverb and delay, let's bring these down over here. Go to FXA and let's add the, not regular chorus, but let's go for the Juno 6 chorus to kind of emulate that sound. Bring this down just a little bit because it's, <laughs> it can be a little bit much. And before I forget, a little bit of keyboard tracking goes a long way. Okay, so we have that here as well, and something that you might know that I do, this is also in the manual, a very cool little tip here, is getting another Chorus Juno 6 module here, and we can always bring down the volume, or the dry wet a little bit, but also changing the phase a little bit. Okay, so now in FXB, now this is going to be the time where we want to add some delay and maybe some reverb, something like that. And as you know, in pigments, we have the delay, tape echo, and the pitch shifting delay. It's really kind of up to you what you want to do. Maybe tape echo is a little bit more appropriate. That's always fun to play for that. So now we can always add some reverb here. Okay, so that's pretty much the most of these effects here I would probably add. Although we can go into the EQ and now kind of do a little bit of corrective EQ, right? Taking out some of that mud, which is kind of generally around here. Maybe adding a little bit of shelf here just to kind of accentuate that a little bit. So now moving on from here, what we can actually do is now we have pretty much most of our things set up here. So we can kind of scroll through different filters and see how they sound. So this is the Matrix 12. Here's the Sim. MS-20. <laughs> obviously, obviously a little bit more aggressive here. And then we have the Jupiter-8. So hopefully you know now what I mean by it's a little bit tamer, a little bit softer, a little bit sweeter, right? It kind of kind of talks nice to you. It's like, hey there, big guy. It's going to be okay. Well, the MS-20 just kind of really insults you, but it's kind of nice, to be honest. And then we have the Mini, which is also nice as well, but the more resonance that we add, the more low-end we're going to be using. So keep that in mind. So we can kind of lower this here. And from there, it's really up to you as far as how much you'd like to change that. For this, I'd like to use the, the Matrix 12. And kind of bring maybe their sustain down just a little bit. And also bring our resonance back up. And really from a lot of that time here, so let's bring down our tempo here. So if we want to use this sound as an ARP or something like that, it's actually very easy to use. You know, we go to our sequencer, turn it on, select ARP or something like that. Let me bring down the uh, rate here. And a nice little trick for ARPs here too as well is bringing down our sustain all the way and kind of dialing in our decay and then maybe adding some more sustain back. So this is kind of what I'm talking about.
But yeah, so generally that's kind of the th process here. Before we let you go, we should add this macro here to our effects because it's always nice to do. So let's do that now here. Let's drag this over here. This is 21, so 0 0.21, something kind of like that. And this is 19, which is <laughs> pretty close, I suppose. 0.19 and then go for our tape echo which is 36% so let's drag this here and go to 36 something like that and reverbs 29% so let's drag this here and go 29% here and label everything accordingly because it's nice to be organized and turn this back up here. Okay, so I'll actually put this this uh, this patch up for download as well. Maybe call it like the Retro Man or something like that. I don't really know. It's kind of hard to put out so many different names, but uh, yeah. So if you want to get the patch and kind of just look at it, maybe add on to it, use it for whatever you whatever you want. It's totally free. There's a link in the video description below, and it can be yours. So thank you for watching. Uh, yeah, hopefully you learned something, and we'll see you in the next video.